Hey folks, I'm Mani and welcome to my channel. Have you ever thought about building your own quiz app where users can take the quizzes based on their interests? Admin can manage the users and the quizzes effortlessly. So with this video, I'm going to start a new series on making the quiz app where we are going to use some good technologies like Flask, Jinja2, Bootstrap, Chart.js, SQLite. This series is mainly focused on the students. Professionals can use this series by adding some more advanced technologies and terminologies. But our main focus is students cause we have to cover more basic concepts. So let's start with the project structure and details about the application. So here we are. So we will first talk about the structure of the application. So in the application, the major part is we will have the two user roles only. The first user will be the admin that can manage all of the stuff on the application like the users, the subjects, the quizzes, when to start the quiz, when to end the quiz. And then we will have the user. User can only register, take the quizzes and see their scores. Our quizzes are structured this way, like first we will have the subject, then we will have the chapters, like the subject can have multiple chapters. And the chapter can have multiple quizzes and inside the quiz we will have multiple choice questions. So this is the structure of the main quiz part. In the quizzes when you start the quiz the questions the multiple choice questions will have this kind of UI where each of the question can have multiple options where only one option can be the correct one and there will be the time also uh, to attempt the specific quiz for UI we will be using the bootstrap to make the responsive design so users can take the similar experience on mobile devices also the database will be local with a single file that's why we are going to use the SQLite because with the SQLite we will have only one file and we don't need more setup on our machine. So let's talk about some of the technologies we are going to use. The first is Flask. So Flask is a lightweight web application framework. It is designed to make getting started quickly and easily. With the ability to scale up to complex applications, it means the Flask can be usable for the small application as well as the complex applications. And it is very easy to use, easy to install and very easy to learn the concepts. So for beginner purpose, that's why we are going to use the Flask. The next we are going to use the Jinja 2. So Jinja is a fast, expressive, extensible templating engine. Special placeholders in the template allow writing code similar to Python syntax. And then the template is passed data to render the final document. It means when you request a URL, it serves you some HTML document. And if you see the backend part, so the template engine basically takes some HTML file. And uh, in the HTML file, you can make some placeholders with your Python syntax. And when this HTML will be served, on that URL that you requested, it just dynamically fill all these uh, placeholders with the values, the dynamic values, and then search to you. And it is fast, and it is it is also easy to use. So that's why we are going to use the Jinja too. Next, we are going to use the Bootstrap for styling and responsive UI. So for styling our web pages, we use the CSS, and the Bootstrap is the CSS framework. So with the framework, we don't need to do manual work. So we can just add, we can use the examples from the framework like this one for the multiple options. So in that way, we don't need to write the CSS for that. And it is really easy to use. So it will clutter our burden for writing more and more CSS. The next, we will use the chart GIS. So, chart.js basically 
we use to visualize the information so in this application we will use the charges for visualizing the scores at the user side or at the admin side so you see in the charges there are a lot of options lot of the examples you can see different kind of graphs that we can use in our ecosystem like just take a option like the duck nut and pie chart so maybe we can leverage the pie chart in our application for showing the scores okay next is sqlite so sqlite is a lightweight database and uh, that gives us flexibility to not store anything on the machine it is just a file at the output that can manage whole database for your small application mainly we use the sqlite on the development and uh, this is not uh, workable for the production cause it, it is just the a file and uh, we cannot you know use it for huge amount of data so our application is really small so that's why we are going to use the sqlite db next we are going to use the git for managing our code base so it is a version control system that tracks versions of files it means if you have done any changes in your file and you want to see how many changes you have done on that particular file so it can show you the line numbers or the modification on that particular line so basically only the changes that you have done you can see so that is really useful for any project okay so we will discuss about it more on next videos okay so that's it for today from the next video we will start working on the project structure the database schema and we will also discuss more about the technologies that we are going to use so till then stay tuned with me and thank you so much